How can you sleep at night? That is the question the mother of a three-year-old killed in a road rage shooting is asking. The boy was murdered a month ago while riding with his family. His mother tells CBS 2's Dermont Terry she's now on a mission to find justice. Veronica Zastro and her children have a rare night at the park. I'm glad that they're out. There haven't been many smiling days after losing the youngest family member, three-year-old Mateo Zastro. His siblings don't like to leave home without his ashes. I'm already starting to chip it because we've been taking it out. Six-year-old Messiah will quickly tell you who's in the urn. My brother. Back on September 30th, someone fired up to six rounds into the family's SUV. A single bullet pierced Mateo in the head in front of his siblings and mom. My baby was gone when I pulled him out of that car and his blood was just leaking all over our stuff. My baby didn't have a chance. That bullet exploded in his head. A month after the deadly road rage incident in West Lawn, the shooter remains on the run. Police found the vehicle, but the driver is not behind bars. A lot of people don't like speaking up because they, they're scared for their lives. No, you took my baby. I'm living my worst nightmare. That was my youngest baby and my last baby. This mother is on the quest for justice. Now on the 30th of every month, she will march like she did on Sunday. A family determined to keep Mateo's murder on everyone's mind. She prays whoever is behind the deadly road rage shooting sees her pain. Somebody's related to them and they're probably helping them hide out right now, you know? It's like, just turn yourselves in so my baby gets his justice. Now, the mother says police told her when they found the abandoned vehicle, it was not stolen, leading her to believe police have an idea of who they're looking for. But CPD telling us tonight that there are no new developments in this case. Live at the 8th District Police Station tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News. Joe and Erica. Thanks, Jermont.